Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Good Place Collective, where we bring health and wellness practitioners together to connect, educate, and collaborate. This morning, we're very excited to facilitate a wonderful workshop with one of our awesome Good Place Collective members. I'm here with my co-founder, Lindsay Cousy. Say hello. <laughs> hello, hello. It's so great to have everyone here. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are absolutely thrilled for today's workshop. We have the Michelle Hart with us today, and she's offering us a workshop workshop on a new way to lose weight. Michelle is the guru for weight loss, for fitness, for feeling good in your body. And I'm so excited to see what Michelle has in store for us today. Michelle, welcome, welcome. And thank you for joining us. Mm, thank you so much. Um, I just love to teach. So this is um, something that I'm super passionate about. And I've been doing for a very long time because i um, we need it. And especially in this new world, we actually do need to do different things than we were doing before. So what I'd love to do is actually um, share my screen and get started with the workshop. So let me know um, if you see uh, a new way to lose weight. Do you see that on the screen? Yeah, sure you do. Have, okay. I'm just double checking it's recorded, recording as well. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So, uh, so today you're going to learn a new way to lose weight. You're actually going to learn how to go from overtired, overwhelmed and overweight to slim, strong and sexy forever, all without giving up your favorite foods and wine. We would never want to do that. Right. But we do want to get into the best shape and health of our lives. And it's actually really, really simple. We just need to change what we're doing for this new world. Um, and just so you know, this is um, part of a, uh, a program that I actually developed, and it's carefully designed. It's a systematic approach um, to uh, reset your body, recharge, and rebuild so that you can keep this beautiful body, beautiful health for life. A little bit about me, uh, just a tiny bit. I am a clinical nutritionist, um, so I help with all sorts of health conditions, um, and I'm a detox specialist, and I'm founder of this uh, nutritional consulting program called Fit and Healthy for about 21 years. And um, over time, what I, did, what I decided was I wanted to reach out to the women that are still struggling to get into their best health and shape. And so I've created, it's all about a system. So I've actually cracked the code to uh, losing weight and keeping it off for life. And I, it's called the Nine Step Slim, Strong and Sexy program. It's a system. And what I do is I've actually helped thousands of women over time focus on reframing how you look at food, how you look at wine, so that you can enjoy a life of freedom and balance, like food freedom, okay? Um, I've worked with legends such as Bob Proctor. Um, he's recently passed. He is a world-class motivational speaker. He really taught me about mindset, um, which you're gonna learn a little bit about today. Another, I've had Craig Valentine, He's a world-class on high performance and having perfect days. So these are just some of the many um, mentors that I've had over my 21 years. I am a wife and mother of two kids, love nature. And all my programs are based on ancestral wisdom and modern day science. The two together to create a system that works to optimize our body, okay? So I just want um, you to um, imagine for a moment, flipping this switch, like really flipping the switch, it's just like that, to easy and fast weight loss forever. And um, we're going to uh, think about having a team of world-class uh, doctors and scientists to actually find out exactly why you're not there and how to get there fast, okay? So this is, and the results I have are quite incredible. I'm actually not gonna go through them right now because I only have a limited amount of time to speak, but just a recent one, um, you know, Constance, she's on my social media channel, like within a week, just over a week, she was able to release just 10 pounds of old yucky waste out of her body, like pick up 10 pounds and release it in just over a week. So she's doing amazing. She came to me pre-diabetic with IBS, all these health conditions. I love those kind of clients because as a clinical practitioner, I know exactly how to work with them because you really do need to know what you're doing so that this will last, okay? And this is by still enjoying her foods. Um, so I'm, now I'm gonna turn the table to why aren't we there yet? Why are we struggling so much? 
Like, what's really the problem? Haven't, like, why are we eat more overweight than we've ever been? Well, these are the three most common struggles I see women um, fail to lose weight and keep it off for life. The first one is they are absolutely on the wrong diet. They think they're on the right one because of what's marketed or it's so popular or all this dogma stuff or this governmental um, uh, rigmarole and how we're supposed to eat. Mm, actually, how are you, how is your energy? You know, because um, most of them, you actually think you're on the right diet, but you're, why are you tired? Why are you tired at three? Why are you tired when you wake up? You should actually have a ton of energy on the right diet. And this diet is a way to eat um, so that you can get into your best weight. You need to have energy for that, okay? So they're on the wrong diet. The second one is um, they're not eating at the right time um, because of our lifestyle and where we're at right now, but, or they're eating too much. And so where this leads to is you're guilty. You feel guilty. Okay, that's not a good feeling to hold inside because really um, when you're feeling guilty, uh, you know, how do you want to live like that? Do you want to feel, do you want to live feeling tired and guilty? No, we need to live with food freedom. And so what I'm realizing is because of our busyness, like the running, the rushing woman syndrome, where we're rushing from one thing to the next. I don't know if this sounds familiar to you. Um, you have all these deadlines, all these appointments. And so you feel that maybe, oh, I need to eat before this next appointment because I don't know how long the appointment's going to be and I don't want to crash. Well, that's not eating at the right time because there's actually a better strategy where you can eat at the right time, even if you're a busy woman, which is what the program's all about. Um, so, and then the, um, the third reason why women fail to lose weight and keep it off for life is because actually their metabolism isn't working. It's not where it's broken. And so we need to fix this. Uh, that's where the clinical nutrition comes in. But really, that's if you think you're eating the right for your body and you have energy, and if you think you're eating at the right time and you don't feel guilty, but why aren't you still losing the weight? Why isn't it like melting off where you want to be and keep it off for life? Is actually because there is a condition that's not fixed. But you're gonna, I'm gonna share with you exactly um, so you have clarity to know exactly your next steps to move forward, lose the weight and keep it off for life, okay? So I want to right now start with uh, raising your vibration, raising your frequency, raising um, your hopelessness to hope, to welcoming to your new you. And what I want you to do is the first step to actually um, losing weight and keeping it off for life is actually seeing yourself get there first. I really want you to really imagine, I don't care if it's superhero like uh, Wonder Woman, which she's to me, pretty freaking awesome. Whatever hair you have, whatever, whatever works for you. But really, you need to actually imagine right now, put that picture, put it on the fridge, put it wherever you want. That's who you are now. Like, this is it. You've got to launch, anchor that. Okay. And so that way, you're just focusing on that. And this is how you're going to go from being over, like tired, like feeling worn out being overwhelmed with everything you think you need to do um, and overweight to fire up. I'm telling you, fire up fat loss. Your body will be a fat burning machine. You will get sexy ass tone because you're actually going to be able to build the muscle and you're going to get into the best ideal for you. Not like movie star, um, you know, magazine cover, your best ideal weight faster than you ever thought possible. Because I see it all the time, especially with the system that I have. Works all the time, all the time, all the time. Um, so we are gonna, I'm gonna walk you through three action steps right now that you can start to um, get started. And if you want more help, please reach out to me. I love, I would love more than anything to just have a quick conversation um, and dive a little deeper. But right now we're gonna start with action step one. Action step one is gonna solve the first problem, which, which is we need you to eat right for your body. This is such a confusing topic. It's funny, animals don't need to know, but we need to know. And the reason for that is because you are marketed to and you're not actually following what your real diet is. Well, I'm gonna share with you exactly my right diet formula that I learned through all the research and all the mentors that I've had, okay? And I pull it all together to this right diet formula. So what I want you to do is I want you to, step one is I want you to um, think about what did your, personal ancestors ate? What is your heritage? What did your great grandma eat? Your great great grandma eat? Where are you from? Where did you originate from? 
What is your nationality? That is a key piece to finding your right diet. Why? Because you're still genetically mostly the same. And so if you were, I have to say I'm Russian and I'm glad to share that because that's who I am. And I'm Russian and Russians can eat potatoes and dairy. And it really works well for us. Not for everyone, because that's, my ancestors ate Dukabor Russian food. So I'm really, really, my body's capable to break that down because I've actually developed over time, these enzymes to be able to break down that food group easily. In fact, it's nutrients for us. Other um, heritage, like for example, if you're from India or from other parts of the, so I'm from a cold climate, way up north, right? So if you're from a long light cycle, somewhere in the Mediterranean, your diet will be different. So you've got to think um, where you're originating from. So that's a key piece to, to knowing your right diet. The second piece is you want to marry that with what's grown in your environment. And the reason for that is because you're living in the environment. Your body, you need to be coupled to your environment. When you walk outside, you're actually part of the environment. You're stepping on the ground. You're part of the ether. Like, this is you. And so your, your genes, they expect foods grown in your environment. Your genes, you have the mitochondria, these, these energy centers. They're also environmental sensors. They're not just, they don't just produce energy, your battery. No, they actually, they sense the environment. Why? Because we're freaking awesome. We're so much more powerful than you believe. We just got to know that what we're capable of, okay? And feed the body properly. So when you walk outside, your genes, your genome is expecting foods that is grown in your local environment. When you couple what your ancestors ate with what's grown in your environment, you are so far ahead than others thinking that they need to grab this process shake that is, has a certain amount of calories that you put into some kind of water and think that that's going to help you lose the weight and keep it off for life. No, you're human. You are tissue. We're going to work with the body. And I know you guys understand that uh, because you're part of this collective. So those two things I really want you to pay attention to. Now, what's grown in your environment? It's not packaged foods. If you look at the trees, they don't have like, um, you know, cookies in a wrapper growing on the trees. No, they no. you have apples if you're in Kelowna. You've got um, berries that are growing in the, the spring and summer, right? Um, and you have corn at a certain amount of time in the summer that you want to like chow on, right? Because it's grown in your environment and that's the time to eat it. Um, and you don't, you don't see like orange juice coming from, I'm sorry, you're not, you don't have oranges. I'm in Mexico um, and, you know, papaya, uh, mangoes, oranges. I don't see orange juice growing from the trees. I see oranges. So you can take it to that level as well. Like, no, you eat the whole food. Okay. So think about that. All right. And that's going to eliminate the packaged food because they're not grown in your environment. So um, the next thing is we've got to actually eat to fix your health condition if you have one. So if you, again, we've got our ancestors, we have our environment, but really we also need to pay attention. Maybe you do have a health condition that's not allowing you to uh, strip away the fat. Well, what I do is let's go, let's, so that's action step one. This is one example. I just want to show you one example of actually the cheat sheet that I give to my clients. It's like black and white. This is your diet. This will get you lean, tone, and, tone and sexy. Because really, you want to make it easy for yourself. So if you do find this eating plan or this diet, print it off and really follow it. Okay, this is the one that I give to my clients. Okay, it's got to be easy for you. Um, so let's go to action uh, step two. So we talked about action step one. We're going to go to action step two. We need to only eat when we're hungry. Um, and um, if you're not, you're actually going to you, you won't get your results that you want, okay? And so um, we need to eat when we're truly hungry. So that's something you need to find out what that feels like for you, okay? So um, that is a key piece. And how to get you there to truly know when you're truly hungry, okay, is this little recipe here. 
Um, so that is, we're going to practice um, feeding well and fasting well. Because when you fast well, you know what it feels like to actually start to get hungry. This is training you to actually know when you're actually hungry. So um, this is the way to do it. So what we're going to do is we are going to practice intermittent fasting. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, feed within a certain window the foods that we talked about, right? And then we're going to um, fast within its other window. So I call it feed well, fast well. Okay. So when you're feeding well, you actually feed. You get to know when you're hungry. You eat when you you eat the foods that we talked about, but you've also got to fast. Okay, because it's when you fast is actually when you do burn the body fat. When you feed, it's actually when you get toned. So you're kind of doing both. As, you're doing both. You're fasting to burn the body fat. You're eating to get the muscle. That is such an important key. Okay, um, and so a good guideline for you to start pro like properly intermittent fasting. A lot of people have heard the term, um, you know, this feeding window or um, it's been coined other ways, but really here's the easy way to do it. Easy way to do it is you're going to uh, feed within this short window of time. So you can pick an eight or 10 hour window of just feeding. The fasting really needs to be around 14 or 16 hours. Here is what the research has just shown. If you can move into a 16 hour fast, that means dinner to breakfast. That's the easiest way to fast is um, dinner to breakfast. That means no calories, no food, just anything that has no calories. That means you're, you're actually truly fasting. So from the time that you finish dinner, finish to the time that you have breakfast, that is going to be your fasting window. And by the, by the time you have breakfast, you're actually going to really truly know when you're truly hungry. That is the feeling you want to anchor to go. That's actually when I'm hungry. So if I have a meeting, come, that's the feeling you want to hang on to, right? So if I have a meeting coming up and it's, and it's um, during the feeding window, but you're not, you don't really quite have that hunger that you know that you need to have, then what you do is you take your, your food with you and you want to actually have it when you're truly hungry. So if it's at a meeting, a really good strategy is put it in a container like this where no one sees it and then just have it when you're hungry. So it could be a smoothie in here. No one will know you're having it. It could be um, a creamy soup. No one will know you're having it. Um, it could be whatever you want. I've had uh, scrambled eggs because they're easy to eat. No one knows I'm having it, but I'm actually, no, they don't like they, I don't think they do. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's just about my health, right? And I protect my health because I never had it. Now I have it. Um, and so I'll take a thermos with me. I literally will do this. I will take, a, no one knows what's in there and I will have it when I'm hungry. So if it's during a meeting, so what? They don't know what, they think I'm having something to drink. I even take it with me on the road. Like, and I do that all the time and I take my thermos with me. And so, oh, I'm hungry. Okay, now my body needs the nutrition. Otherwise, guess what? You wonder why you're not where you want to be. It's because if you're feeding the body nutrition when it's not ready, it's actually at a time when the body doesn't want the food because you're not hungry. You're only going to store it as fat. You're only going to plug up your system. It's not ready for nutrition. So you're saying, oh, I don't want to listen to you, body. No, no, forget it. I don't want to listen to you. So I'm just going to eat because this is because I have a meeting coming up. That is the last thing you should do. And so I have all the tools in place to help you further with this, but this is such a key piece because guess what? This leads to the metabolic imbalance. This leads to one of the most metabolic imbalances that leads to being overweight is your digestion's wrecked. It's not wrecked, but it's off. The digestion is not working properly. It's because you're, you're feeding it when it's not ready. I really hope that's an aha moment for you because it's so common that I see everywhere. And so I'm sorry that I'm so passionate about this, but it's such a key piece. Okay. Um, and so when you do eat during your feeding window, just really practice also mindful eating. So I'm eating, I'm chewing, I'm, I'm um, you know, this is going into my body. And then, you know, when you're actually full, because if you're not paying attention to when you're chewing and eating, you'll overeat. And that is, you, you actually, you'll lose your brain power. 
You wonder why you're foggy? Because all the energy goes to the digestion because you've overeaten. How, how can you be a high performer if the energy is down here and it's not here? No, not to your potential. Anyone watching this is a high performer. You have so much more potential. This will help you reach your potential. This is a high performance diet, 100%. Um, so make sure you're just, just full. Good. Yeah. Now go into your to herbal tea and a bit of stevia and chew some gum, which is what I do. Okay. Um, and it makes you stop having sugar cravings and overeating. So that's something to think about. I could dive in deeper another time, but really, I just wanted to get you uh, the framework. And so this is, this is how I teach my clients. It's a daily routine because really, we really work well with schedules. So uh, when you follow the schedule of feed well, fast well, it's all in here, um, then it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. You'll know when you're hungry, when you're just full and you'll eat um, so that you can get your results. Now I'm going to, I'm probably I'm not sure how much time I have left. I probably have five minutes. So I'm going to just finish off with these five minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off with action step number three. Um, and so this is, you may have a metabolism that he's fixing. This is so fun for me because I'm a, this is, this is where the detective comes in, which is my specialty. There are six metabolic imbalances that you need to pay attention to that if they're not working properly, that's why you're not getting your results. Well, the first one is the digestion piece. How are you possibly going to be burning fat, building muscle, have that metabolic flexibility if you can't even break down your foods and use it as energy and nutrition? It's not, you can't. So that's the number one metabolic imbalance that really needs to be fixed. Now, I have a self-test um, that I put my clients through and we actually, I can determine, they determine with me if their digestion is sluggish. So it's like, it's a self-test that all my clients get. And then we could discover right away, oh, there's the clarity. It's my digestion that's, yeah, okay. Well, here's how we're gonna fix it. Now you can flip the switch like what Constant did lost 10 pounds in just over a week because we fixed the digestion. That was a problem. Um, so anyways, the second one is you're eating your allergy. You don't even know it. Sensitivity. We can, I can fix, we can figure that out so quickly and then get you moving ahead from that. Candida, that's a major culprit. Why? Because you're craving sugar and bread and you're growing these nasties in your yeast-like fungus that actually makes you eat it. So when we recognize that, we actually starve them by not feeding them anymore with these certain foods. They just die off and you're all good to go. Thyroid, obviously, that's your part of your metabolism. If that's a problem, stress is also a metabolic imbalance that we really need to pay attention to, especially if you're carrying it around the middle and that's not going. It, it's because we have to manage the stress and there's, it's pretty easy to do. And then blood sugar swings, which is hypoglycemia. So what I'm going to do is I've shared a lot with you. I'm going to summarize it right now. So this whole um, workshop was all about showing you a new way to lose weight. It's not the shiny object anymore. It's not the, um, you know, take this pill for this ill. No, it's actually really fixing the body so that you can be metabolically healthy so you can lose the weight and keep it off for life without giving up your favorite food and wine. What is the action step one? You're going to go from going from this wrong diet, which is publicized as the best diet for this and that. Maybe it's not right for you. Well, we're going to find the one that's right for you. And I've given you some really good tips to do that. Okay. That way you have the energy, you're going to feel great and things are going to really work for you. Action step two, we're going to get away from eating when it's convenient to eating when your body actually asks for it. Eating at the wrong time to eating at the right time. That will be, do wonders for you. Okay. We talked about feed well, fast well, right? This is going to give you the, the hope and the empowerment and the wow, like this is actually working. I don't feel guilty anymore. Oh my gosh. You mean I can sleep at night without waking up going, Oh, why isn't this working? No, you're going to sleep like a baby. Cause you know exactly what you're doing is working. And then the third thing is, Hey, you might have a condition that's not even recognized. Well, I would love to um, help you find clarity with that which is seeing uh, how things are working with your metabolism, okay? So we can fix that, flip the switch. It's really true. And we'll do this with an assessment. So that's what the clinical nutrition comes in, which is so fun for me. So um, basically, if this feels right for you, if, if this is like, so you're like a hell yeah, like Michelle's 
got it. She's got the system. And you know what? I've been taking care of everybody else. It's freaking my turn. And you know what? If I take care of myself, I can take care of everyone else. So why aren't I there yet? Where is the block? Why aren't you there? Don't you think you're good enough? Of course you're good enough. How come you think all everyone else is good enough except for you? No, you are. Because when you're good, everyone else is good. They'll feel it with your energy. Okay, you will vibrate differently and you people will notice and you're going to look and feel your best. Um, so basically, you will be the woman that you want to be. Why? Because you freaking deserve it. I know you do and you know you do. So if you're ready, then hop on over here because the system is super simple, but it's systematic. You've got to do the right step at the right time. And that's exactly what I've developed. So um, please reach out to me and um, or join my group. So what I've done, I actually do these free trainings every week. And it's in my um, Fit and Healthy with M. So you are invited to be part of these free trainings I do. Um, and it's specific for the over 40 conscious health seekers, the, the wake ones. Because I'm going to be talking about frequency and vibration. Like this is where we're at. We're not just physical beings. We're way more than that. We're, we're in this new world now. Okay. And I can help guide you so that you have the best body. So you can have the best brain and, and get the hope and, and move past this little bit of turbulence. Because it's you pick this time to be here. Let's have some fun. Um, and this is, it's free training. It's once a week. And all you need to do is just click on at fit and healthy with M join the group and you will actually get access to my resources and my free training or just get a hold of me and we can just start a conversation so thank you I thank think you so much michelle oh my gosh i really enjoyed it quick question for you uh you talk and i know that you love working with women um but it sounds like something like this could also work for men is that accurate uh very much so it's exactly the same system um, and quite often I have couples, um, because then it's so much, the woman gets the man on board. Right. Um, and I have a lot of couples actually. So yes, it's for men. It's actually great for couples, but it's, yes, it's for men. I have lots of male clients. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Great question, Lindsay. That was wonderful. Michelle, uh, we do have a couple more minutes before we're going to wrap up this morning. Um, I just want to ask if anyone here has any questions before we do that for Michelle, um, and uh, if not, we can definitely, uh, any questions anybody has, uh, this video, if you're watching it on YouTube, for example, you can post a comment and we'll make sure that we ask those questions to Michelle. Um, any questions here though, in the room this morning? Yeah, one more. Yeah, Lindsay has one. Great. <laughs> Michelle, if somebody is um, interested, they're not really sure if, uh, you're the best fit, but they want to have a conversation. Do you offer like a free consultation? Is that always? Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's called an insight call. And all you have to do is just send me a direct message and um, we hop on a call and I find out a little bit more about them. And then I, then if they want to move forward with learning about the program, then we can, we can do something like that. But of course, absolutely. Cause it has to be a win-win. It's got to be a fit for both. Yeah. Perfect. Good question. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, such a great workshop, Michelle. You always are able to jam in such an incredible amount of information in a short space of time. And I appreciate you uh, for doing that. Like I said, this if you're watching this on YouTube, you can definitely post uh, questions there that we'll make sure Michelle gets. If you want to connect with Michelle, you can also find her at the goodplacecollective.com. So that's www.goodplacecollective.com. She is there listed as a Good Place Collective member. You can learn even more info about her there, learn more about what she does and connect with her if you have any more questions or want to connect and work with Michelle. Thank you so much again, Michelle. Thanks, Kasha, for being here. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank Wishing everybody a wonderful day. Thanks, ladies.